Hello babes and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and also the bell so you guys don't miss any of my brand new uploads. I've been doing like a lot more vlogs and I'm filming a what eat in a day today. Today's the day I'm gonna go to Ikea. I just got a package you guys. I ordered a console table for my front area because right now it literally has a mat on the floor with shoes. My arm is already hurting. I don't know why. Yeah, and in that what eat in a day, I made my iced latte. It was on sale, which is great. You know, your girl loves to save a few bucks or so. I have a really bad habit with like kind of making like a collection at the front door with a bunch of my shoes and like I don't wear like six out of seven that are there. Now I know why my mom would get like so annoyed and like bring up my shoes to my room. So instead I wanted to kind of dress up the area instead of having it just like a thing with mat and shoes on the floor. I wanted to look pretty. I want to look over there and be like, oh, that's so, such a pretty little corner. So I got a console table. It is black, of course, duh, like watch yourself. First I was afraid that the guy would not bring it up because I'm like, oh, it's gonna be heavy. I'm not gonna carry that. It's very, very plain. So it has like a glass top. I will put a picture right over here. I literally put a vase upside down and just kind of made like a little pedestal and bring her up a little bit and it looks really cute. So one thing I want to get is I was never like I don't like this lamp. I just bought it because I love like when I go to bed I love having a lamp that I can actually turn on. It makes this room really nice and cozy. I don't like I barely turn on the light inside of this room. Like this is the only light I use because throughout the day it's daylight and then at nighttime I like a really nice warm light. I don't like it to be blue or anything thing but I love the one from Ikea it goes on the wall and it kind of has like this very lofty New York kind of vibe where it actually has the cord that shows um, it's funny because you guys in the US get to have the black and white one and I swear we could too but I only see the white available um, but you can also put it like up here if you wanted to it's very minimalistic it's so cute I'll put a picture here um, and you can like put it over here so that the cord goes over there and you don't really see it but honestly, I kind of like that lofty vibe or you can put it close to over there and not have it show. Then another thing you guys I really really want um, is to put a mirror over here and how pretty would it be to have like a mirror over here and have another spot to take some OOTD pics and I love when it has a really nice background so with the new light and everything I'm going to make it super minimalistic behind me so this would be the background of course once it's cleaned up um, but it's going to have that wall light which is very minimal I'm going to end up getting a rug for my bed because I don't like um this like rug over here like it's okay but i'm just not in love with it it was just kind of temporary i might move this by the front door because i think it would dress up that area i'm actually gonna look at the rugs at ikea and see if i'm feeling any of the ones so once i have the mirror up this is what you guys are gonna see when i take like outfit pictures and you're also gonna see my bed and stuff so i really really love that and there is one that they just released that I want to check out. I don't know if it's the one I'm going to go with. I'm going to go on my phone and see what else I saved. Because now I can't remember, like, what I'm actually getting. I don't know what it is, but it's always, like, such a mission to go there. So I have three mirrors I want to look at. They're just thinking of switching out this mirror. I get so many compliments. This is the Hovit mirror that I use currently right now. Um, if you're curious, when you see it in my outfit pictures. Oh, yes. I'm getting the uh, Drona boxes, the white boxes that I currently have right now. I love these boxes so much, you guys. I love them. They're so nice and soft. They have like a suede, velvety kind of like feel to them. I'm getting these for the bottom of my closet. So if you guys are in a condo or apartment, um, at the bottom of my closet, I'm going to show you guys. There's nothing there. There's just my clothes hanging. But these guys actually fit there. I have them, so I took some measurements. I can slide them underneath. They can fit comforters. They can fit pillow covers. They can fit extra um, pillowcases covers. They can fit sheets like bed sheets. Right now, my bed sheets are in this massive drawer that's like beside my nightstand. My bed, which is the mound bed, I love it so much. There we go. If you guys see a double chin, oh well, say hello. My bed is the mound, but I got the ones, the one with the drawers all the way around. It's such a smart thing. I highly recommend it if you do not have a lot of storage or space. So one of them has like extra skincare products, which is what I was gonna use this for too. Like one can have things like my facial steamer and stuff like that that you're not constantly pulling out. I can put it inside one of those. Plus my bathroom is literally two feet from the closet, so it's not that big of a deal. 
And then my nightstand that I have also from Ikea, which is also the Malm nightstand, which I love that collection as a whole, um, has my bras and underwear. So top drawer is underwear, bottom drawer is bras. So I loved that too. And it's very easy to like, you know where your underwear and bras are. Like it's just simple. The other thing I want to look at at Ikea is some organizers for my medicine cabinet because as you guys know, I'm kind of like cleaning that out. So that's going to be a whole other video that I'm doing. I want to look at the rugs. But I thought I needed to go there for a lot more things, but I actually don't. I'm still looking for a light fixture for over here. Switching the ceiling lamps to the very flat, minimal, like white ones. What else? Oh yeah, I'm still looking for a black vanity light. The bathroom is still on hold because I'm getting different quotes from people. My dad knows someone, so I'm just waiting on some stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to put on a little bit more makeup. By the way, you guys, can you tell my shirt is another tie-dye piece and I really have been wanting like a green neon kind of look and I did some crew necks too. And I'm going to have new tie-dye pieces on stephaniebissetto.com. I always feel bad for everybody who misses it. I'll probably leave a note here if it's if everything's already gone or if it's gone live or not but always keep an eye on my ig story that's where i post it and i also do post it on youtube stories too so you can always check both um but yeah make sure you guys follow me so you guys can check on my stories but i cannot wait for you guys to see these pieces i have a bunch of like fall colors because i got some requests to do more like warm tones and kind of fall vibes but i also have of course the cute like other colors too, the bright fun colors. Lip combo today is MAC Peach Stock mixed with Leave Me Breathless. And then I've topped it off with Patrick Tom. She's expensive lip gloss. So I just did a little bit of makeup and I decided to put my hair up. I got the uh, Fenty Cream Bronzer. I'm using it as contour though. I showed you guys on IG. And I got the color Amber because when it comes to contour, I like the very gray undertone contours. I oh, by the way, I do like the cream bronzer because um, you guys wanted to know if I enjoyed it. I really, really like it. I put some along my forehead um, and I like to use it mainly as like a contour. But today I kind of blended it out a little bit more. But I like a very natural look, as you guys know, with my makeup. So I kind of go lighter on products. I love it. It's very blendable. Actually, it's on my eyes as well. Just to give it a very, like, natural eyeshadow kind of look. Very kind of lightweight. Very natural. It does not get patchy. And I do have, like, a mixture of dry skin. Like, I do get really dry skin. But I love the way it blends. It's really pretty. I don't regret it. I love it because I can use it for my eyes, cheeks up here bronze with it contour with it so this is my outfit you guys and i don't think i actually showed you in a vlog i got my brand new nike sneakers i don't know if i'm gonna wear those today because i kind of have been liking my feet to kind of be free so i might just wear like my flip-flops to be honest and these are my absolute favorite jeans h&m jeans like never fit my body type properly at all i always have a big gap at the back this one i don't have like that big of a gap um, but they're a little bit more of like a mom kind of style jean, but I love them. I can leave a link for you guys. I love that they just have a rip on one of the knees and not on both. We're here, guys. Let's put on our mask. Today it's nude so that it goes with our outfit. Watch yourself. My phone. Let's go. A cart is a must when you come here, you guys, because you don't want to be carrying things. These are really pretty, guys. Pretty color. So these are the things I use for my syrup. 99 cents. I also have this, you guys, but I switched the top to a black top, and it looks so good. So these are the Drona in black, but I'm looking for it in white. It's probably over there. These are the hangers that I use, you guys. I love them. They're so like minimalistic. And they're $1.99 for a pack of 10, I believe. I'm trying to think if I want these now instead of the whites because maybe because they're at the bottom. I don't see the white ones. This is the one I have on top of my um, living room counter. I get questions about it. It's from Ikea. I love it because it doesn't take much room and I love how it looks at night. 
Okay, let's find the wall one that we're looking for. This is the smaller one, you guys. I don't, they don't have a light bulb in here, so I can't really see. But this one is similar, so. Okay, this rug, you guys, is gorgeous. That is the name of it. It is so nice. I'm looking for the larger size and it's so solid. So it's this one here. Like you guys can't probably tell by the fabric, but holy crap, it is so soft. Distance of two meters apart. Let's stay together. Just a little. So I think I'm taking the rug. I think I'm gonna try the rug for my bedroom, you guys, and if it doesn't work there, I'll just put it in my living room, but it is so soft and it looks so expensive. I'm also really liking this frame. I'm thinking of putting it above my sofa, and I also want a big one above my bed, but I was gonna do like an artwork piece myself. This mirror is also new from them, and it's a really nice OTD mirror, except it just has like a really thick frame. So here is the mirror, you guys. The only thing that I don't know is I know that my doors are hollow and this thing is a little bit heavy. So I have to make sure with my dad that I can screw this in. I wasn't planning on screwing anything in. I was planning to put like stuff at the back. Okay, so I finally brought, I was just taking a measurement of what the rug would be. I brought it up here because I'm like, please don't let it be one of those rugs or items where I bring home and it completely switches color. You guys, I love it. Right now, my bedroom lights are on because it's dark outside, so if I close my light, you guys won't be able to see. The perfect stone taupe, this is it. So you guys know the color of my vase. You guys have seen it in like daylight. Feels like chenille, plushy, soft flannel. Like you want a sweater made out of this, okay? That's how nice it is. I definitely recommend this carpet. Like, oh my God. It looks so rich but doesn't have the price tag like 179 for a rug that looks like this is a really good price and it's also made of recycled something I was reading on the material I am sweating good morning by the way it is the next day it turned out absolutely perfect I am sweating balls like doing this by yourself is not easy but I'm just so determined that I like doing things on my own like especially when they're challenging I'll show you guys what it looks like obviously the light is not up and everything but just to show you guys oh by the way my snake plant tipped over by the way I love this I call it like a Swiffer thing but I've linked this on my Amazon it's super affordable I put like a lemon floor cleaner inside of there to wash my laminate floors but then I also use the pad to take away dust and then I'll remove the dust and then I'll do the wet mop so if you guys are looking for one it is on my Amazon page that I've linked down below look how pretty it looks you guys so funny thing the other rugs were like five I think there were five by seven six the seven six would have been like too little on each side this is seven ten at like perfect amount on each side there's actually two more inches on this side than the other side because i never really go over there so i'm like let me just put more on my side so that at least it lines up plus i like that i have like a mini hallway over here i don't have to step on this rug every single time just to avoid it getting like dirty faster but i'm obsessed i don't have to worry about finding any more carpets anymore any more rugs I actually i love this one for my living room too so i might end up getting it for my living room i'm not too sure but it is so soft you guys the only thing with this one but i noticed my living room does it too when you step on it it leaves kind of like a little footprint but any like this is still low pile but any pile that has like that soft very kind of like a little bit of a bounce to it when you almost walk on it 
you're gonna get that but you just have to like move it around so i did end up getting the drona boxes these are my favorite i'm gonna be removing like the comforter i have inside of here all the sheets and put that inside of here so i got six of these i'm gonna be putting three in that closet and then three in this closet over here because i have like a his and hers the reason why i decided to go with black is because i feel like it's not something i really want to show the other thing i'm obsessed with my carpet by the way like i'm so obsessed with it so then i ended up getting the lights i ended up getting the smaller ones i'm gonna get the command strips from amazon i'm either thinking of putting it like above the bed right over here or i'm gonna put it like right over here i love how minimalistic it is this has a dimmer on it so once you turn this it'll it allows you to dim you guys the switch is here whereas the larger one the switch is kind of on the string so i would just have to constantly like go down there and do that which is what i did last time i kind of taped it behind here with a command strip this is the mirror that i wanted to put behind my door right over here now i opened it and everything and i was so freaking excited for it but when i stand in front of it especially the other way not so much this way but it does some like distorting and I that's gonna bother me because I'm gonna be taking outfit photos in this if I turn it the other way the wall behind me literally does like a squiggly line so I don't know if something's wrong with this mirror I might get one of their other mirrors they have another one that's like $20 but it just doesn't have a frame I kind of loved the black frame so I think this guy's gonna have to go back so this is what the black drona boxes look like they look so nice see how like the black is better because it's just kind of there so i'm so excited to put all my stuff inside of there so i've shared with you guys in the past that i obviously deal with anxiety or maybe you don't know but i do deal with anxiety so something you know not so big of a deal to some people other people might react a little bit differently and might get overwhelmed by something like just very anxious about something i was at ikea got all my stuff i was went to my car when i got to my car though there was a guy in front of my car and he was on the phone and i was like okay fine whatever he could just be on the phone but i'm just gonna be extra cautious right I put my purse out of my cart, which I think everybody should do when you're putting stuff away from your cart and you're by yourself. Always put your, your purse inside of your car because you could turn your back, put your carpet in your car and someone's like, yoink, went around to the trunk and I opened up the trunk, packed everything else. So I locked the doors um, to my car because I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna be extra, extra, extra safe just in case. I put my keys down in this little cubby I have. I was putting stuff away so I didn't want my keys on my hand and I didn't want my keys inside my purse. You can catch on what's going on here. So I was like, oh, done. Close this trunk. And there was something that just hit me. I was like, it was instant. I knew I had locked myself completely out of my car. I have never had that happen to me before in my life. I did not have anything on me. Automatically, there's like this, this feeling of panic that just comes over you. I turn around and this lady was driving up and she said, are you leaving and i actually answered her saying yeah i am but i kind of need a favor like when someone approaches your car i could tell that she was a little bit like okay i don't know this girl but she saw me packing things in my car and i think that's why she was like okay you know let me just hear her out i just locked myself completely out of my car and the first thing that came out of my mouth and it always does anytime something like this happens to me i always say i don't want to get emotional and it goes to show you, like, I'm so independent, you guys. Like, everything that I can possibly do on my own, I do it on my own. So I'm so strong, but anxiety is just another animal. You know what I'm saying? When you have anxiety, it's like certain things that will happen to you will just, like, set something off in you and you just panic, you know? My dad is the only number I know on this planet by heart. So she's like, yeah, yeah, sure. And I was like, oh, thank God. Like, thank God I met someone that was willing to help me. So I call him, my dad always picks up. Like nine times out of 10, he always picks up. Thank God. I can't stand when you call someone and they're just the type that does not pick up. Like it drives me insane. I'm like, dad, I just did something so stupid. Like no, you guys know what I'm saying. If you have anxiety or you experience it, a part of you shuts off. You kind of just black out, but you have your, your extra spare key, right? And I'm like, yeah, but I would have to go get it. My key has the key to where my spare key is. So I'm sure they'll let you in to go get it. And I'm like, yeah, I guess. Like, lady said to me, okay, I'm gonna just go park over there and you stay on the phone talking to your dad, okay? I'll, I'm gonna come right back. And I'm thinking, you're leaving me with your phone? Like, long story short, 
I had an angel that day, okay? This woman did so much for me. That is just a little piece of what she did for me. I feel like in this world, you can't really trust anybody anymore. And I've just been kind of losing a little bit of hope. I'm not gonna lie, in people. There are some really beautiful souls out in this world. They they're really, really, really are, okay? It didn't take long for me to get this sense of like, okay, I'm safe with her. And she was like, okay, I'm safe. Cause she has to trust me too. I just didn't want to call somebody to open up my car. Number one, we would have to pay for it. Number two, I was like, is it gonna damage my car? I don't know, I've never had it done. Sometimes those people take forever to get to you. As she's approaching me, she says to me, if you need me to bring you somewhere, I can bring you, like I can drive you. I don't think a lot of people would have gone as far. You know what I mean? And, and I'm on the phone with my dad, I'm like, she says she can bring me. <laughs> he thought I was with someone at Ikea and I knew this person and she was willing to do anything I needed. Like, so I grabbed my spare key. And then on the way there, she says, and once we get there, I'm not leaving until you're okay. Bro. I was like, who sent you? Like, who, who sent you so that I can like thank them? Then she's like, yeah, but even when your dad is there and you get everything situated, if you have to go somewhere else, you have to go back to your car, I can bring you. Your dad doesn't have to bring you. I'll, I'll bring you back. And then the girl and my dad meet. So they met while I was like getting my stuff. It's just crazy that this was like a complete stranger, but this person helped me so much. Like in the time when I really needed somebody, I told my dad like she got gas and everything. My dad's like, you should have given her money. I'm like, dad, I didn't have money. My dad drops me off, okay? Open up my car with my spare key. Everything's great. She's there. I'm, I'm coming out of the parking spot and she's going like this. So she ended up, I get ended up getting there first before her. And I'm like, oh my God, I drive back into the parking lot. I reach for my wallet and I actually had cash with me. I never carry cash and I had cash with me. I'm like, please take this. I'm like, I cannot take that from you. And I was like, I will not forgive myself if I don't give you something. Please take this. And she's like, no, I will be upset with myself if I take that from you. I just like derailed her entire afternoon. And she's like, please give that to somebody who needs it. And like my dad was like, wow, that woman really like did a lot for you. And she was willing to do more. Lesson is there is still a ton of really amazing souls on this planet. And the other lesson is to be a good person because good things may come your way for it. I'm not saying to be a good person for that reward. And it's just kind of like a really weird time to like ask strangers for help too. So I think that gave me a little bit more anxiety too. Hope that it gives you guys hope that there are really good people out there that will help you in time of need. Yeah, feels good to like let it out. I don't think it's good to hold it in. If you guys have anxiety, whether you have to cry about it, speak to someone, talk to yourself about it if you have to write it down. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you guys don't miss any of my new videos. Also follow me on IG. It is at Steph G. Macedo. I will leave a link to all the stuff I got today so that if you guys want to go shop it and you don't know the name of it, I will leave it down below. I'll also leave my Amazon page with anything that I have on there. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed and also leave some love down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.